The project started by dropping off tablet computers for children residing in the rural Ethiopian town of Wenji with preloaded programs and then waiting to see what would happen once the children were left to their own devices. In Ethiopia, this would be the first attempt at the concept of self-learning. Apparently, since the year 2012, a lot has changed. After this experiment, uh, is uh, uh, the change to actual situation. We may use this way of uh, providing uh, education for uh, students uh, from outside uh, school. The children themselves say they have greatly benefited from the tablet computers, having gotten a basic education. However, they all maintain that they cannot replace classroom education. Since we started using this tablet, we've learned how to write and speak in English. And we also know every application in this computer. Before, this was just a dream for us. We'd like more schools to be open for us too. This project is supported by the African Union as well as the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Both want to use one laptop per child project to pave the way for more usage of technology to drive the uptake of education in the continent. Everything is a beginning and we are believing that having sown the seed of this project using the pilot in Ethiopia, we can evaluate it and see how we can scale it up to other disadvantaged communities of our societies that are curious to learn but they don't have access to learn. The experiment is being done in two isolated rural villages about 50 kilometers from Addis Ababa. According to experts, Africa is still lagging behind when it comes to using technology for providing education. However, projects like this one, if they can be implemented as planned, can realize the much needed success in transforming societies in this continent. Grumdara CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.